Legislative trifecta, the DFLs made their presence known in St. Paul this year. Now as things end, Republicans say they're feeling left out. Quinn Gorham heard from the Senate GOP today as they reflect on the session. DFLers have called this legislative session the most productive in recent memory, possibly ever. Unsurprisingly, Republicans disagree, and Thursday they made those frustrations clear for a legislative session that, quite frankly, has left them in the dust. Nearly 20 Senate Republicans met Thursday morning and expressed a growing number of concerns with the direction of the legislative session. With just four days remaining, GOP senators addressed problems with taxes, funding, and policy decisions from the DFL. For a long time, Republicans have been holding back support for a bonding bill, vying for more tax cuts before members can get behind it. DFLers are moving forward anyways with an all cash bill that won't need the same supermajority that bonding would. We've continued, we've made many, many offers to try and get this bonding bill done, but today they went, mm, forget you guys, uh, you Republicans. Uh, we don't care about half of the state. We're gonna put this cash bill forward. Proposals from Republicans to get bonding done included things like funding for nursing homes, additional tax cuts, and reappropriating extra dollars back into the general fund. It's important to note that bonding isn't the only Republican concern, but since it needs a supermajority to pass, it is the one thing they have control over. They've also expressed issues with things like the transportation bill, the tax budget, and other important bills this legislative session, but those things can and have moved forward with zero Republican support. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham.